Hello and welcome back for another tutorial in my Unreal Engine 4 series. This time I'm going to show you how to do a mini-map uh, in the third person template. So if you want to follow along, load up the third person template and uh, let's get cracking. So the way a mini-map works, in this case anyway, is we're going to have a camera essentially above the player that is going to capture what it's seeing and rendering it out to a texture which we then draw onto the user interface sounds pretty simple well it actually is so all we got to do is first of all load up our third person character uh, blueprint which is over here um, so if you're making this in your own project uh, this would just be the character that you want it to follow okay um, I'm gonna go into the viewport and here's my character set up in the default uh, settings and we are first of all going to go add component and add a spring arm to it okay and the way a spring arm works is essentially like a camera boom it will uh, attach stuff to the end of it and it um, basically translates its the uh, movement of the character uh, a certain distance offset by the spring arm it's kind of hard to explain easier to show so this spring arm is represented by this red line. Now I want this to be in the air, looking down on the player. So this spring arm needs to be rotated. So you go over here with it selected on the right hand side. And you'll see rotation in the Y. You want to type in minus 90. And it'll go up like so. Now anything we attach to the spring arm will have the same settings applied to it. So add component. And the thing we want is a scene capture component 2d there we go i'm i'm, I'm going to name mine minimap capture okay so this minimap capture you can see is up here it won't look like anything it will look invisible but it's there trust us okay so there's a spring arm and there's it attached to the spring arm um for now click compile and minimize that and i'm going to add the render target so basically what it is the camera will render the shot that it's seeing and we want it to draw it to a canvas basically and this is the canvas that we're going to show up on the screen later on so first of all we need to create this canvas for it to draw on so we're going to go to add new materials and textures render target and i'm going to name my one minimap underscore render target okay and you can open it up and you'll see that it's just a normal texture, it's nothing fancy. Okay. So go back to your third person character blueprint and click on your minimap capture, scene capture 2D. And if you scroll down its details panel, down the bottom, you'll find scene capture, uh, texture target here. And in here you have a drop down and it should show the only one you've got, which is the render target. That means that now this camera, this capture, will capture and store its data onto this render target. Click compile. And we can now close that. And it should, you'll see down here in the, in the content browser, it should update the thumbnail based on what it's seeing currently in the world. Okay, so it's looking down at the player and seeing this. Okay, so the next bit is now to get to sharp on the screen. Now for it to show up on the screen, we've got a texture, we now need to make that into a material. So right click on it and go create material. And I'm going to hit enter. And here's my minimap render target mat. Open it up. And we want to change a little setting here by clicking on the main node. And go over to its left hand side details panel and change it from surface down to user interface. This now means that you can hook that up to final color and it will display on the user interface as such. Click apply, save, and you can close that. Okay, that's that bit done. The next bit is to make the user interface widget, which will show the mini map. So we're going to go add new, user interface, widget blueprint. And I'll call it mini map widget open it up and here we go here's the blank widget editor so I'm not going to go into too much detail about how this widget editor works I'll just show you 
what you need to do for the minimap. So on the left hand side you'll find the palette and it should already be at the top but you want image. If not just search here and you'll come up with image. Drag image out onto the canvas and you want to resize it to whatever size you want it to be. Ideally you want to make it square so I'm going to change my size here to 256 256 and the brush if you expand that out on the right down just down below there you'll see a slot here for image and here you can choose your minimap material okay and there it is click compile and close now to get this to actually show up on the screen that's all that's the last step so we go to blueprints up here open level blueprint right click begin play And you can do this on the character blueprint if you wish, it's totally up to you. I'm just chosen to do it on the level blueprint today. So drag off of event begin play. And we want to create widget. And the widget we want to create is the minimap widget. And the only player will be the player controller. Get that. And this will create the widget from that blueprint class. So once we've got it made, we want to store it in a, as a variable. So in its return value, we're going to come out of there and click on promote to variable. That allows you to save it and store it as a variable. So you can reference it later on. So I'm going to call it minimap widget. And the final bit, you drag that out and go add to viewport. Like so. Click compile, close that. And when I click play, you'll see it now sharp in the corner now immediately there's some things wrong with it we were going to fix so the first thing is that it's in perspective mode at the moment um, which is not what we want and it's probably why you're getting some render issues so you might see my one have that flickering effect that can be caused because it's in perspective so we're going to change that in a second and we also want it to remain uh, facing true north so not rotating as the player rotates okay so escape out of there go back to my third person character blueprint so the first things first let's go to the spring arm on the spring arm you'll have some options saying inherit pitch inherit your and inherit role this it basically means it's inheriting all the rotation data from the player character we want to turn all that off that means it will stay facing the way it is set by default which is north. The next step is on the minimap capture scene component 2D. So we click on that and we want to scroll down this details panel and you'll see projection, projection type. Change that from perspective to orthographic. And here you can change its width. Um, I like it as 1000, but it's totally up to you how you want it to work. Click compile. And now when we play, you see it's an orthographic and that flickering issue has now disappeared. Okay. But we're not done yet. There's some things we could do to this to improve it. Uh, for one, we don't want the skeletal meshes to show up on the camera. So for example, if we're playing a game and there's other enemies, we don't really want them to show up on the minimap. We want maybe icons, but definitely not the actual models themselves. So we can actually control that. And we're going to escape. Go back to our third person character, click on our capture component, scroll all the way down to see where you see scene capture. And at the bottom of scene capture, you'll find the advanced options on the arrow. Click on that, and it'll show you the advanced options. And here you'll see the flags. So these flags here basically tell it what things it is to render. Just expand out the general show flags and tick off skeletal meshes. Click compile and you'll see now the main character doesn't show up on the minimap. But we may want the character to be represented by an icon. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, go. I've actually created the icon already and I've imported it. It's here. Play icon. It can do anything you want, it's up to you. Um, just need an icon and open up your third person character. And the third person character. We want to attach onto the spring arm the uh, 
picture. So with the picture, we need to make it a sprite. So this is a texture at the moment. We need to make it a uh, sprite. Right click on it. And at the top you see sprite actions create sprite. Click on this. And you'll see it come up here. Play right on sprite. That means now we can add it to our third person character. Add component. Sprite. And you'll see paper sprite. And over on the right hand side. You can choose which sprite it uses. So source sprite. Player icon sprite. And there it is. Now you may want need to rotate it. Like mine needs rotating. So I'm going to rotate mine first. So let's first of all rotate it. 90 degrees that way. And uh, minus 90 that way. Okay. So you want it facing the same way as the arrow for the player okay that way you know it's going to rotate with the player okay and we want the paper sprite not to be attached to the spring arm now so we're going to detach it from there and apply it to the capsule component as so like such now the reason why you don't want it on the spring arm is because you want it to rotate with the player okay otherwise it will always face north which you don't want so detach it from the spring arm and that's where you want it okay now the main thing you want to make sure of is that the minimap capture is above the player sprite otherwise it won't show up in the minimap so in the player sprite you may need to move this down just a tad that's so okay so it's just a little bit below or far below it's up to you as long as it's below the capture point otherwise it won't show if you have it above the capture point it won't show and that's a common problem i see people do is they put it too high and it won't show um, click compile and click play and you'll see it above your head we'll change that in a second but more importantly you see it on the minimap okay so to remove it so it doesn't show up in the actual game world again go back to your third person character click on the paper sprite and if you scroll all the way down you'll find a rendering section where you can show advanced Click on the little arrow to show advanced. And you'll see one saying owner no C. And it means that if this is true, this component won't be visible when the view actor is the component's owner, directly or indirectly. So when this it won't show when viewing this actor. To tick that, click compile and play. So I can no longer see it, but you can still see it on the minimap. And that's how you do a minimap. There are some other features you could do, like a compass and things like that, but we'll do that another time. If you get stuck or have any questions, uh, or you want to try out something unique with the minimap, please let us know in the comments and I'll try and help out as best I can. Please like, subscribe and share, and uh, I'll see you next time on the next tutorial. Thank you and goodbye.